Hey guys, today I thought I would do something a little bit different and show you guys a video tutorial and a technique that I use to swap out clothing in Photoshop. And this particular image, this is my caveman image. In the final, you'll notice that he's actually wearing a fur costume. He was not actually wearing that on the day of the shoot. I created this all in Photoshop. So I'm gonna run you guys through some of my techniques for doing this. This particular image right here, I found it on deviantart.com. This gentleman was actually selling fur swatches and I wanted to use it as a stock image so I messaged him and asked him if I could do it and he said absolutely. He saw the final product and he loved it. So a lot of times if you don't have what you need and you can find a stock image, just message them. They, nine times out of ten they won't have any problem with it at all. So what I did was I pulled the swatch over into my image and then I use the warp tool Oop. and then I used the warp tool transfer uh, warp and this is where you can move the tool move it around and place it on the body where you're wanting it like this Oop. move this over here and once you get it placed the way you want it, then you can use a mask layer to mask it out and place it where you want it on the body. So as you can see here, this is how you can create it. Now, in order to get it to blend in, I use a technique called underpainting. If you are familiar with acrylic or oils, you've probably heard this term before. This is a, a method where you lay down tone values and then you add the color on top of that. And so this technique is exactly what we're going to use over here. I did a technique called underpainting. Here, I'll turn it on for you here. If you don't use underpainting, let me show you what can happen. You turn on, let's do this one. When you turn it on and you add your blending mode, you will get the seams here. So what we want to do is use an underpainting and give it a foundation to lay upon which will help set the tones. You can take advantage of how it blends in with your entire image as long as you have your underpainting on, as you can see right here. So this is how I create my underpainting. Create a new layer. Use your brush tool. Hold down the Alt key and touch where you want to pick up the color and then stripe it all the way down, move over, stripe, move over, stripe, and you do this and you'll notice that by sampling where you are on the body you're actually getting the tonal values as it comes all the way around the body. So your shadows and highlights are going to be basically the same as what they are on the original outfit that the model is wearing. You stripe it all the way around and fill it in and you do the same thing for the shorts. Wherever that fabric is going to touch is where you want to lay down your underpainting. You can see here and I'm just sampling and drawing, sampling, drawing. Alright, so once it's finished it looks like this. This is after some tweaking and messing around. And then, once you pull in your fabric swatch over here, you get it to the shape that you want. In this particular case, let me turn this to normal mode so you can see what it looks like. So here is, so what I did is I took this swatch here, warped it to the shape that I wanted, changed the blending mode to overlay. And you can tell the tones automatically match the lighting because what it's doing is it's picking up this tonal value underneath but you cannot see the clothing because you have a solid tonal layer under it. A lot of times when I use this multiply or overlay effect then I will copy and do two layers as you can tell that really deepens the color there and then I did the same thing for the top. Oh, that was the layer we just created. There's the top and then double up the effect. 
And as you can see, it looks exactly like the same lighting that we have here. And that's because you actually used the tonal values that were already there and created an underpainting layer. I hope this was useful for you and you can use this technique a whole lot in blending in any object into your scene. You guys have a great day. Keep learning and keep sharing it forward.